we're not playing the victim tonight. That really pissed me off because I want her to feel sorry for me and she's not in any way, shape or form. And as I look back today, I tell this story all the time because that was the paradigm shift, the epiphany bridge from the old me to the new me was a new way to look at what is the definition of success? Okay guys, so this is gonna be the mindset section. And by the way, you know, like obviously, like the better you think, you know, the, the power of thinking positive is gonna like do wonders in your life. But I need you to understand that when there's adversity, adversity is a terrible thing to let go to waste. I want you to write that down, adversity. How much adversity have you had? It's a terrible thing to let go to waste. And I wanna tell you the day that I really changed my life was when my wife said some really harsh words, which I'm gonna tell you, and you might think, oh man, that was, uh, you know, that was really mean of her to say that. No, 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 no. Remember I told you guys, all change, all change starts with truth and it starts with honesty. And I'm gonna tell you this, I had this ego, right? Because I was running a company, I'm making two and a half million a year, and my definition, my mindset of success was something different than what my wife thought success was. And by the way, she was right. And so, I didn't want to believe that she was right because what I was taught is that if my wife had a purse full of cash, we had paid off houses, paid off cars, hey, I'm a winner. And you know what? Compared to how I was raised, yeah, I was doing better than anyone thought I could do. But my wife, when she married me, she said, I decided to have you to be the only man that I was going to spend the rest of my life with because I thought you were going to give me the right of a lifetime and not be one dimensional. And I was like, what, what does that mean? And she was like, well, I thought that you could do it all and not just make money. And I'm gonna tell you something, this is super important so you can catch this early on. I 50 x my income when I changed my mindset, okay? But I had to kill my ego, pride, ego, and entitlement. You can't get to the new mindset if you can't kill off the old you and the old ego. So I'm gonna tell you what my wife said. I come into the house, by the way, I'm 39 years old at this time, I'm 44 at the time of making this video. So I want you to understand, it wasn't very long ago same man, okay, same person, new mindset. I was ready to grow and change. And she said something very hurtful to me. By the way, I've always learned this, that normally it takes somebody saying something really hurtful to get your attention. And it was the truth. It wasn't what I wanted to hear, it was what I needed to hear, and I didn't know I needed to hear this until she said it. Thank God she did. And if you have one person in your life that you're lucky enough to be around that will tell you the truth, you're the luckiest person on, on planet Earth. Because if right now you're, you're not playing at your best potential, more than likely those people around you have believed that you're not capable of more than that, so they're not gonna push you. Or they see you settling and they're settling yourself, and so they're just okay with it. And I'm not okay with it, and my wife wasn't okay with it. So I walk into the house one time, and uh, one night, and my wife has heated my food up for the third Third time. I, you know, hey babe, I'm gonna be home at eight. Hey babe, I'm gonna be home at 9.30. It's 11 o'clock, she's heating it up, she's done. By the way, it wasn't the first time we'd been through this. She had been through it many, many times. My, I was doing everything for my family, but really I was doing everything for my ego and my pride for work. I wanted to be the best, I hated to lose. And for that reason, I was better than most in my marriage. I was better than my, and most with being a parent to my kids. I, I was better than most even in my fitness, but I wasn't my best, okay? And I wanna tell you what I did. This is super important. I went home and it was 11 o'clock, I walked in the door and I remember my wife was standing there and she's clearly upset because she'd up the food three times. I keep telling her I'm on my way. She's waiting, 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 waiting. I don't even go give her a kiss. I go straight to the kids, they're excited to see me. She's excited to see me too. But she looks burned out. She's not giving me the face that I wanna see. And they're all excited. So I go to them, give them a bunch of kisses, show them love, and give her nothing but trash and leftovers. Dude, she's the best woman on planet Earth. My mindset couldn't see it. My mindset was trash, okay? And by the way, you gotta be careful who you're around. Because if you're not around people that wanna have the best marriage in the world, they may say they do. But if they don't have it, they really don't want it. Because anything you want, you would have. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you this. We went to the room, and she said, Andy, you know what? She said, uh, I, wanna, I wanna tell you the truth tonight. She's like, me and the kids, we've learned to live without you. I'm like, what does that mean? Well, she goes, well, what it means is that we eat dinner every night without you. I've heated your food up three times. You keep saying you're gonna be here. I don't even know why you tell me you're gonna be here if you're not gonna be here. All you do is just make me more angry because you keep making these false promises and you're not keeping them. She goes, I can't even trust you no more. And I'm like, what do you mean? I've never cheated on you. I've never, she goes, I didn't say you did that. She goes, dude, I gave my life to you because 
I envisioned that you weren't gonna be one dimensional. And I'm going back to that. And she said, I envisioned that you were gonna be the husband that I would look up to and, and, and admire. I envisioned that you were gonna be that man that I was gonna look up to. You, you would motivate me all the days of my life uh, like you did when we got together. I envisioned that our children would choose you as their hero and that you would know what they're interested in and you don't even know what they're interested in anymore. You have an, a 10,000 foot idea of what you think they're interested in. You don't know them and they don't even know you. They know you're their dad, but they don't have that close relation. They miss you because you're their dad, but you don't know them and they don't know you. And honestly, she's like, I don't even know you anymore. You come in, even when you're home, you're not present. You're still thinking about work tomorrow. And she's like, how hard is it to go and kill it for 12, 15 hours, whatever it is you're gonna do, and then just come home and when you're here, be here. And then I'll support you to go back tomorrow and go to war again. She's like, I just want you when you're here, I want you to be here, but you're one dimensional. You think you can only have money and success and a great career, and you don't think you can be a great husband. You don't think, and you're not even thinking about being a great husband, because you already think you are, which you're not. Not to my standards. Now listen to me. I started to get mad. I'm like, I can't believe this. My mom left when I was two. You know, Jerry Springer show, she goes, save it. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. We're not playing the victim tonight. That really pissed me off because I want her to feel sorry for me. And she's not in any way, shape, or form. She goes, all that stuff was good for you. The fact that your mom left and you were young, you should mail her a thank you letter because it made you tough and that's how you were, are where you are. So don't cry. Okay, she's like, listen to me, I love you. I know, I've known this story. My point is, Andy, you're supposed to be the best husband, right? Marriage millionaire, you're supposed to be the best father. You're supposed to be close to God, which we say is number one and he's not to you, okay? And then also, like your family, you say you do it all for your family, you're full of shit. You don't do it for your family. You do it so that you can be number one at work. I know how you do this. You've been this way since you're 18. You got this alter ego that you need to be, be the best at everything and you think that you're taking care of these other areas and you're not. Also, this one really got me. Now all those things, if that didn't get me enough, she reaches over and she grabs my love handle because at this point I wasn't in very good shape. And she just grabs my love handle and squeezes it. I think she gave me like a little extra tug. You know, Donald Trump goes in to shake a hand, he kind of pulls you in. She kind of grabbed it and gave it a tug. And like, dude, chill shot up my spine. And she goes, and you're getting a little bit comfortable. Dude, I'm like, is this woman wanting to get killed? She was right. Dude, listen, number one, I got really mad. Cause in the beginning when someone tells you the truth, you, you don't know how to take it, right? So first thing I do, I get really mad. I storm out of the house. I can't believe you. I can't believe you would say this to me. You know, everything I do for this family, wah, wah, wah. I go in the garage. I work out for like four hours. Like if I worked out really hard for four hours, like I was gonna come out with a six pack, walk back in the house and be like, you know, all jacked up and stuff. She's gonna be, oh sh You know, like look at the change. That didn't change, but I did feel better, okay? My endorphins were firing, oxytocin, serotonin, dopamine. These chemicals were released in my body that I hadn't released in a long time because I've never really worked on myself and I went work for myself or worked on myself for four hours straight. I went and shaved my head. I had hair at this time, I shaved my head and I was like, okay, well, if I can't get a six pack in four hours, I can shave my head and at least walk back in the house and look different. And I came back in and I just remember, I realized that she's right. Listen, mindset shift. She was right. Number one, Everybody around me thought I was playing my best and my wife goes one to 10, you're one, maybe better than someone else's 10. But you're 10, when you get to it, Andy, you're gonna change the world. And my job as your wife is to support you to become the man you need to become. And I'm telling you the truth, you can have it all. And that's what this mindset is about. You can have it all. People say, and I know you've heard this, sacrifice for what you want or what you want becomes a sacrifice. 
And I thought I had to sacrifice my family. I thought I had to sacrifice my, I was always saying, you know, once I get here, then I'll get in the gym. Once I get here, then I'll be able to go on vacation with my kids. Once I get here, then me and you, babe, will be able to spend that time together. Once, and then one day life's over. And in a flicker, all those once I get here's, you're there. And by the way, listen to me, you didn't even enjoy the journey in life. Pretty crazy, because you're always looking forward to the destination, so you didn't even enjoy the journey. You look up, my three beautiful kids never got to know their dad. My wife never looked up to me. Number one, I looked in the mirror and I was disgusted with who I had become because I was listening to the world. Listen, so you gotta make a decision right now. Do you wanna be the .0001%? The 1% or you wanna be the 99%? There's three levels here, okay? The 1% kill it in business. And I was one of the 1%. The .0001%, okay? They kill it in business, they kill it in their marriage, they kill it with their children, they kill it with God, they kill it with their fitness, and they look in the mirror and they say, that's a badass mother effer. And also they're a leader, and so they lead other people along the way. They self-lead, they lead others, and then they build those leaders to even build more leaders. And that's the mindset we want you to have. And so I didn't know that that was what I wanted until my wife told me the truth and triggered the shit out of me. But thank God she did. And as I look back today, I tell this story all the time because that was the paradigm shift, the epiphany bridge from the old me to the new me was a new way to look at what is the definition of success? And it is to get it all. So I want you to decide right now, what are the priorities in your life? What are the buckets, the things that are most important to you that if you were to die today, dying with no regrets, you would say these things I was the best at the 0.0001%, and that's what we're gonna build you to be, not the 1%. And the 99%, they're sheep, they've conformed to society, and they're complacent. And mediocrity is crawling over this whole world, so you gotta be careful who gets your mind. We want when you die, they say you come into the world crying and everybody's rejoicing. We want when you die, we want everyone crying and you're rejoicing. Saying, man, dude, I'm going out like a hero. I changed my bloodline. I broke my bloodline. I created not generational wealth for my kids, generational habits for my kids. Isn't that cool? So that's the power of the mindset. It all starts there. That's the foundation of the house. If you have a mindset and skill, we know you're gonna kill it in business. If you have a mindset and skill, we know you're gonna build a big business. But if you don't have the mindset and you have the skill, you'll always start over and go in this cycle of every two, three years, go back to the trash. I know a lot of people that have made money for a few years that are ass broke right now, okay? Because they've never built the mindset of the 0.0001%. And I just gave it to you. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true 0.0001%ers. Look, I know one percenters that can make it halfway through the video, but make it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I wanna get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I wanna roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link, it says coach with me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.